Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you just threw me all the way off. Like that was so random. Okay, <laughs> this is a family <laughs> channel. What's oh my god. Okay. Let's just we're gonna start all the way over. Just start over. Just throw the whole video away and start over. <laughs> Look at here, y'all. I wanted to show y'all something. So if you guys are any type of up-to-date on our vlogs here on my channel, we actually, you'll know that the kids found a baby bird last week. Well, this week, Ariana was outside with her, with her dad, with Charles, and look at what she found. It's like a baby... Well, they, they're calling it a shrew, whatever that is. I guess it's like a baby vole or mole or something like that. It's a shrew. But look at it, y'all. It, it, like, literally, like, oh, yeah. legit. Look at it in comparison to this brick. It is so tiny. It's a baby. It's dead. Yeah, it is definitely dead, though. No, he's definitely dead. He's, like, all the way stiff. But look at that. We're finding all these little baby animals. <sighs> yeah. Rest in peace, little guy. Rest in peace, little guy. Die. Say rest in peace. What? Peace. Good job. What? Peace. Oh, you said rest in peace. So what's up, guys? Um, so today, ooh, actually, as you can see, look at that. We got some brown patches. I'm going to keep it all the way real with you guys. This is the side that we laid, which actually, considering the fact that we've had multiple days in a row that have been 80 degrees plus, this is actually pretty good. The side looks really, really good, actually. It's just that brown patch there, which we are you know staying on top of at this point which leads me to this so we purchased this guys to hook on to basically we're going to hook the sprinklers we brought uh bought some sprinkler system we're going to hook on to here and this is a timer so basically this will control yeah this will control uh the grass basically when the water um cuts on and cuts off to uh to water the lawn so this will be attached via these look at my baby y'all she not really matching but hey we just playing outside right so um but anyways so that those will be attached to this and all of this will be hooked up um somehow or another mr long will get that all squared away i'm sure oh one other thing i don't think we ever showed you guys but look at this we placed some landscaping lights so and there are actually two there and then and there are two or actually three there so they're kind of in different strategic spots there's one in front of that tree there there are two in front of the house here they kind of shoot up at the corners not the corners but like where the windows are basically so yeah and look, as you guys can see, my plants are still doing really well. They look really healthy. And at night, y'all, it looks so beautiful with the lights casting on the trees like that. Just kind of accenting. Um 
and just kind of accenting certain features of the landscaping. It's so pretty. Our bushes are kind of in need of a little bit of a trim, but don't mind that. I just love our, and then two, I don't even think I showed you guys that as well. So Charles actually updated our uh, porch lights. So I'll kind of insert a picture so you can see what they looked like previously. All right, y'all, so I'm replacing these lights that we have on our door. The wife wanted some new lights, so let's get her some new lights. I am in love, y'all, in freaking love with these porch lights i think they accent the house so well they look so beautiful and in person it's kind of hard to tell from the camera but in person they are pretty massive and i think he did just a great job overall putting or installing i should say installing the lights How many of you guys have handy husbands or how many of you guys hire everything out like to contractors and stuff? Because as you can see, we rarely do that. <laughs> um, I think Charles probably I would be willing to say does 99% of all the work that we need around the house. As you have seen from previous vlogs and posts, I mean... He completely renovated our um, the house that we just sold. I mean, and when I talk about renovate, I mean, we had a huge, a massive leak in the kitchen. He completely like ripped up wall, ceiling, floor, reinstalled piping, um, re-ran wires. I mean, everything, like he does everything. We had one of our AC units at this house here. We have two AC units because of the size of the house. And so one of the units, the smaller unit, was actually starting to... Um, it was kind of starting to look like it was going to die out here soon. And he... Well the, fan. well, the fan. And he went and swapped out the motor and got all the parts and, like, completely just upgraded it. Like, something that legit would have been at least seven eight hundred dollars you know to hire an hvac person to come out he did on his own you know and then obviously like with the landscaping and installing any type of electrical i mean he is just so freaking handy i don't know what i would do without him in my life i would probably be so lost <sighs> anyways i digress so yeah, do you guys, you know, do you guys do all your work or do you guys just hire it out? Which sometimes the idea of just hiring it out and being done with it is kind of nice because then you just don't have to worry about it. But mm, when you're trying to save them coins, uh-uh. I have to figure out how to do it yourself. So yeah. So anyways... I need to try to figure out what I'm doing here. Um, hmm. Okay. You want me to tell you what Let me doing? see. Well, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, huh? You need a duration? So the clock is set. It is currently 728. That is correct. But I guess we need to set a start time, how long we want it to water, and how often. So let me. What? So let me take a gander at this, and then I guess I'll come back maybe once I have it figured out. Oh my God, Charlie, what are you doing, Mom? Look, y'all, she then took the things off of the package, and she's sitting all on the side. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> I was definitely being a dumbass when I went to put this in the ground. You have to remove the rubber stopper or the cap or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so the next, the other thing that I purchased was this crazy splitter here. Um, yeah, I don't really need that many shutoff uh, valves, but. I didn't really want the plastic one that uh, Lowe's had. I wanted one that was 
uh, brass. So I ended up with this one. Oh, be careful, man. Oh, my God. Oh, y'all. Look at our neighbors. Oh, I just need to blur that out over there. We ain't even gonna look over in that direction. Because it's obvious they don't believe in weed killer. We'll just stay over here looking at our brown patches. <laughs> But for real, y'all, we need to All get right, it together. So the very first sprinkler that is going to get installed is going to be installed down here. Actually, I think I'm going to put it on the corner right here. And then pretty much have it sweep this way and sweep down that way. And of course... I really don't want to water all those weeds, though. So he's literally running the hose along that little that perimeter there. So this will be one. There's going to be another one up there. He got one on the opposite side of the house. I think he's going to put one back there. So they'll be at different strategic points in the yard just to make sure that we don't have issues like this with the brown patches so hopefully we're gonna get our grass together though slowly and as you can see we still never put the last piece of sod here um i think at this point we're probably just gonna put some seed down and call it a day because it's a little late in the season now to be trying to put sod down i think it's preferred that you do it in the springtime so yeah, I think we're just gonna roll with seed. So you want you want to show this? So you can't see it from the street, so it's all good. Yeah. So I just don't want to mess up and put the wrong end in here, and then can't, okay. I can't get it out. Handsome. So so yeah. So <laughs> what I did was cut this hose. Basically, I cut to length. Pretty much, I know I needed to be somewhere in here and about four feet range to be able to move. So I cut more than enough length. And all you do is you shove this guy on until you can't shove no more. And boom. Yeah, and then you can't get it off. Oh. Which is why I was quiet. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so you cut the holes and put that black attachment on. Yep. Okay. I know somebody's watching and saying, who knew those things existed? Now you know. Oh, wait. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Charlie, hold on, baby. Yeah, I was a little sidetracked because technically I'm running the hose from there to this one, and then this one is technically feeding. No, that one, basically, that's the first one. And it feeds this one. So this one will in turn feed another one. And yeah, that's that's how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it, guys. Yeah, that's how we doing it. Side note, my plant is still thriving up there, as you can see. Uh-uh, Charlie. She's pulling the side hey, grass. Stop. Oh my god. No, that's your kid. Charlie, who, whose kid are you? <laughs> Lord have mercy. She's so cute though, y'all. So basically, I, I want to be able to shoot, make sure that I got enough fan to catch, you know, hit that grass right here all of this okay that's gonna shoot over here too so and as you guys can see we still have yet to put these damn caps on top of the garden wall retaining wall whatever you want to call it but i assure you we have the caps and it will happen eventually hopefully <sighs> at some point maybe